Sarah, just seconds ago, literally just seconds ago, Cruz chained and flipped the stolen car that the suspect crashed here on to its wheels. They're going to be dragging it soon onto the back of a flatbed. This has been going on all night here, removing damaged cars from this intersection, which area residents and business owners tell me is quite dangerous, and it goes beyond high-speed chases. They say it's a daily occurrence with reckless driving here. Sandwich God Michael Smith was about to grab an order. Probably a cheesesteak. Nine times out of ten, it was one of the cheesesteaks. When he heard a crash. And then we seen everybody like running, and then it was just police like instantly, like everywhere, like almost out, how they swarm in the movies. That's how it was. It was just police everywhere. When I look that way, you see the guy phew, dark dude through there. Smith says since opening eight months ago, this is the third high speed crash ending right outside his door. One was the day we opened. It was like the first day we opened. That's when the scratches on the pole. Next, a car ripped this porch right off. They rebuilt a few months ago and now this latest crash. But Smith says there are smaller crashes here at least every two weeks. If y'all was to ever just come and like sit there for a second, y'all will see everybody run this light. They don't know. It's so poorly marked, like first of all. Like if y'all look, it, it's, it's so poorly marked. Don't tell you where to stop, where to go. Poor road design, he says, and speeding. The Milwaukee Police Department launched a traffic safety unit early last year, and it's issued nearly 25,000 citations, well, more than half for speeding. Just slow down. Like, it's y'all out here hurting innocent people, y'all messing up people's business, people's livelihoods. We have to send people home early today. And tomorrow morning when Michael Smith is opening his shop, all this police tape will be gone, the mangled cars, they will be gone, and the intersection will be open once again, and he'll have to worry once again about the safety of his employees coming to and from work at this intersection. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Bruce Harrison, TMJ4 News.